Hello, beloved. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father, Lord, for a time like this. Lord, as we are about to embark on this segment, go with us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, today we are, we are going to deal with on a topic called Prayer Against Snake in the Dream. Prayer Against Snake in the Dream. In the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, the Bible is talking about the snake there is referring to serpent. The Bible says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpion, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The Bible has recognized snake as serpent in the dream. We all know how snake, how the serpent was able to destroy the marriage of Adam and Eve. We all know that how the serpent have been used to swallow destinies. We understand how serpent have been used in the dream of many people to frustrate, to disorganize their dreams. When we are talking about snake in the dreams, we are talking about ancestral bondage. When you are talking about snake in the dream, you are talking about marine spirit. Because if you look at it now, snake also live within the marine world. You are talking about snake in the dream. You are talking about spiritual marriage. When you are talking about snake in the dream, you are talking about in the life of a woman, you are talking about seductive spirit. A woman will be having that seductive spirit. She's not married and people will be seeing ah, She will be attracted to wrong people. When you see yourself, when you keep seeing snake in the dream, you'll be, you'll, be having, you'll be having pollution. When you see snake in the dream, that it shows that you that there's somebody around you who is planning to betray you. When you keep seeing snake in the dream, it shows that there's somebody around you who is about to harm you. When you talk about snake, when you see snake, snake, there's a way snake moves. You move like a pretend. It's very crafty. That's what the Bible says. Very subtle. And looking for who to devour. And when snake attack you in the dream, when snake bites you in the dream, it's different. When you see snake in your house, when you see snake in your compound, when you see snake in the place of your walk, when you just see snake, maybe the snake just crawling around the bush, just crawling, they have different meanings. Let me just talk, tell you about snake bite. When you have snake bite, it means this snake has passed through venom, spiritual venom into your body. Three things it will cause in your body. Number one, it will cause moving objects in the body. When you experience snake bite, it will cause moving objects in the body. Then number two, snake bite, it will bring, it will bring non-fulfillment fulfillment, fulfillment of your dreams. You will not be able to fulfill your dreams again because why? There's an evil deposit in your body. The Bible says, my father has not planted. Whatever my father has not planted in your life should be uprooted. So the enemy have planted those things in your, in, in your dream life through the snake bite. Those are the things it can cause. And the last thing, when snake bites you in the dream, it can cause immediate sickness. It can cause immediate sickness. That is snake bite. Now, when you see snake, maybe snake, is cuddling your body in the dream. It signifies that you have been tied down. When you see snake in your room, it means the foundation of that house is bad. Or it will tell you that there's somebody around that compound that is planning evil against you. When you see green snake in the bush moving, it means that you have somebody very close to you it could be your friend, it could be your family, but that person is planning evil against you. He has been, he has been moving under pretense to take away something from you. The Bible says, Nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Whatever is your connection between you and the snake in the dream, they will never hurt you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse, verse 8, the Bible says, Be sober, be vigilant. Take note of those words. Be sober and be vigilant. When somebody sees snake, maybe you are walking in the bush. Bible says, don't be vigilant. Oh, 
It means that attack will come. You have to be very vigilant. Your spiritual eyes, your spiritual ear, they have to be very, very active. And the Bible says, because you are adversary, the devil. We, we all know that the Bible ref refer the devil, snake, as a serpent. That because the adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about, seeking for whom he may devour. I pray for you, the, your enemy will never devour you in your dream. Your enemy will never devour you in your reality in the name of Jesus Christ. So no matter dreams that has to do with the snake, it's a bad dream. I had somebody, a woman called me, he said he have an encounter, a sexual encounter with snake. He keeps seeing, she keeps seeing herself having sex with the snake in the dream. That kind of woman, she had to go for deliverance. I told her to go to deliverance at Mountain of Fire for the Lord to set her free from the kingdom of the marine spirit. I want you to get yourself ready now. We are about to conduct serious prayer. And before we go that, before we do that, the instructions behind these prayers is this. Number one, you went back on three day fasting and prayers. Between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. You went back on three day fasting and prayer between six days, between between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pray those prayers very well after this broadcast and the Lord will deliver you from the power of the serpent in the name of Jesus. And before we go into our prayer fully, I want to lay your right hand upon your chest and say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Say, O oh Lord my Father, have mercy upon me. Forgive me of all my sins. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against humanity. I know I am not worthy of this righteousness. I have done evil in my past. Lord, my ways are not upright before you. Lord, have mercy upon me, O God. Write my name in the book of life. The next prayer I'm going to pray, O Lord. Father, use this prayer, O God, to set me free from this bondage, to set me free from this relationship between the serpent. Father, as from today, make me whole. Anything that surrounds me, that bring limitation into my life, let that scatter in the name of Jesus. As from today, O Lord, I say bye-bye to stagnation in my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to late marriage in my life. So help me, God. In Jesus' name we pray. And so I've taken that prayer, the, after taking that confession, the Lord has heard your prayer. No, the first prayer point you are going to take is this. Say, you serpent, in my father's house, in my mother's house, swallowing my blessing. You serpent, in my father's house, in my mother's house, swallowing my blessing. Vomit them by fire. Vomit them by fire. Vomit them by fire. You serpent, swallowing my blessings in the dream. In my father's house, in my mother's house, vomit them by fire. Vomit them by fire. Vomit them by fire. Vomit them by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are going to pray this prayer point. See, every power that is using snake in the dream to steal from me, to deceive me, to betray me, to cause confusion in my life, I command that power to die, 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 die. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to take this prayer point. The Bible says something in the book of the chapter 29, verse 29. The Bible says the secret things belong to the Lord. And the Bible also says in the book of Daniel chapter 2 verse 22, the Bible is talking about God revealing secret things that it is only God that knows what is in the darkness. You are going to pray. Because this serpent you are seeing in the dream, sometimes they might, they might carry the personality of that powers that is trying to betray you. You are going to pray. Say, Oh God my Father, reveal the evil personality hiding under the serpent. Reveal them by fire. Say, oh God, my father, reveal that evil serpent. Reveal that evil personality hiding under the serpent to harm me in my dream. Reveal them by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, anything that the serpents have taken away from me in the dream, I recover it by fire. 
I recover it by fire. I recover it by fire. I recover it by fire. I recover it by fire. I recover it by fire. Whatever the evil snake serpent have taken away from my from me in the dream. I recover it by fire. I recover it by fire. I recover it by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say polygamous witchcraft. Polygamous witchcraft assigned against my marital breakthrough. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That serpent that you are seeing in the dream, it can also tell you that you are married to a spiritual husband or you are married to a spiritual wife. Because when you constantly see the snake, whether the snake is big, whether it's small, whether it has a woman head, or it's an anaconda snake, or any kind of snake, whether it's black, whether it's brown, whether it's yellow, so far it is a snake. The appearance of that snake could also tell you that you, you will experience late marriage, a financial problem. You are going to tell this prayer point loud and clear. Say, anti marriage spirit. Say, anti marriage spirit in my dream. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Anti marriage spirit assigned against my marital sources. Scatter, 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 scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I bind, I cast out. I bind, I cast out every enemy of progress in my life. That snake will also be telling you that there's enemy of progress around you. Say, I bind and cast out every enemy of progress surrounding me that is limiting my star. I bind you by fire. I cast you out by fire. I bind you by fire. I cast you out by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, take this prayer point with authority. Pray it with the enough is enough spirit. I want you to take this prayer point loud and clear. You point your hand. Just point your hand to the entrance of your door. To the entrance of your door. Point your hand to the entrance of your door. Point your hand to the entrance of your door. And say this loud and clear. Say every evil serpent that has penetrated into my house through my door. Every evil serpent that has penetrated into my house through my door. Backfire! 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 You that woman, you are not praying. Command to backfire! Command to backfire! That evil snake that has entered your house through your door. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That evil serpent, you know how that evil serpent destroyed the marriage of Adam and Eve. You know how the evil serpent has caused divorce. You know how the evil serpent has rendered the, has rendered the, the, the destiny of that man. Has shattered to pieces what that man have already programmed for his life and destiny. You are going to pray this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every power that has determined to turn my marriage upside down. Say, every power that has determined to turn my marriage upside down. You are a liar. My marriage is not your candidate. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And sometimes, when somebody keeps seeing himself, having that encounter with the snake, when you're seeing yourself having an encounter with the snake all the time, maybe anytime breakthrough is coming, oh, you are expecting that contract. Oh, that man is about to propose to you. And this particular snake keeps appearing to you in your dream. 
that is to tell you that somebody is monitoring you. Now you may ask yourself, why should that dream be coming when am I expecting something? That dream of the snake. Why is it coming? Why am I expecting a financial breakthrough? I'm expecting promotion. That's to tell you that somebody somewhere is monitoring you somewhere. You are going to pray this prayer point loud and clear. Say, you strong man, monitor the affairs of my life. You strong man, monitor the affairs of my life. I blind you by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this prayer point loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. Say marine crown. Marine ring. Marine wedding gown. That have been placed on my body in the dream. I tear you to pieces. I tear you to pieces. You marine ground, gown. You marine ring. Give it to me in the dream. I tear you to pieces. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for this broadcast. Thank you for these prayers. I know that I know God has delivered that woman watching this video. I know God has delivered that man watching this video. I know that particular thing that you are expecting from God. According to the word of God in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Those things will come to pass in your life. That great door that has been shut against you as a result of this dream. I pray let the wind of the almighty God. Let the wind of the Holy Ghost command that door to open in the name of Jesus. As from today I prophesy into your life. I command the end, the era of that snake dream in your life to end today. To be terminated today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the evil serpent from the kingdom of darkness. Whatever position they have given you. That is making them, to, that is attracting this covenant between you and the serpent. I command, I separate you today from those covenants. I renounce you from those covenants now. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to lay your right hand upon your chest. And say this after me. Lay your right hand upon your chest. And say this after me. Say blood of Jesus Christ. Wash me. Say blood of Jesus Christ. Saturate my life. Say blood of Jesus Christ. Save me. Say blood of Jesus Christ. Surround me with your power. In the name of Jesus. Congratulations that woman. Congratulations that woman. The Lord is saying right now. The Bible says in the book of Obadiah. Chapter 1 verse 17. It says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. You are possessing your possession. You are possessing your possession. You are possessing your possession. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Don't forget about the instruction about embarking on fasting and prayers. And I know that the Lord will use this broadcast to deliver you from the serpent in the name of Jesus. I want you to subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, this Evangelist Joshua TV, subscribe. Can you sub subscribe now? I want you to invite your friends. I want you to invite your family. I want you to invite everyone around you. And I know that the Lord will just, just as the Lord has touched you, the Lord will touch them as well in the name of Jesus. And don't forget, immediately after this broadcast, in the comment section, write your dream experience about snake in the dream. God bless you viewers across the world. This is Evangelist Joshua. We are dealing with dreams interpretation and we are dealing with warfare prayers. Thank you.